Hello, I'm Lily Mercer. Welcome to the Lily Mercer Show. I'm here Hello. with Sasha Keeble. Hi. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Well, it is the end of the year and you've been working really hard this year. Lots happened for you. What's been the highlight? Because there's been a lot of different things, but is there one thing that stands out? Probably just releasing like, my own EP has just been mad. Um, I didn't actually, like this time last year, I really couldn't see it happening. So now that I'm, I've done it and I'm like thinking about the next project now, is just a madness for me. But... And you released the, your EP Black Book in October. So what was the, the kind of best compliment you received from that? Oh, I don't know, like probably the Disclosure Boys saying that they liked it and then just having like a bunch of feedback from uh, people like Jesse J and um, just like the general like Twitter feedback was kind of the main thing for me. That was just seeing that there was people from like literally all over the world, like love from New York, love from LA, da da da. Like it was, yeah, that was mad to know that it wasn't just like the London scene that was kind of picking up on me, that was good. And a lot of people kind of picked up on you through your work with Disclosure and also Zinc. So what's been um, your entry into the industry before that, like but prior to kind of, you know, working with other people? Um, I started out with uh, Tiny Temper and that was like the first person that I met like in the industry. And I started like touring with him and then, um, his manager, Dummy, who's now my manager, started managing me. So um, I guess as time went along, it was like, oh, the idea of features came about. And I, I went into work with Zinc just kind of, I didn't really know whether it was for his project or for my project, but ended up being for his project, which was all good because it gave me a little boost stuff and then the disclosure stuff came about. So yeah, I just kind of started on my own writing and that way. And you've got some pretty great company as well because you've been uh, recently working with Dev Hines who's, you know, great, yeah. very creative and talented person. Yeah, he's he's so talented. It's actually crazy. I'm so lucky to be working with him. He's a he's a super cool guy as well. So. You're also, because this is for your album as well, so yeah. you're, you've got some great people working on next. Justin Parker as well, who's responsible for a lot of songs. Well, he's worked with some of the best kind of, you know, I guess vocalists of recent years. Yeah, definitely. Um, I worked with him. I haven't actually, since he did day for Rihanna I haven't actually seen him in a very long I think he's just gone to LA and is just living that life for a little yeah. while so <laughs> all good no but Justin's amazing I wrote a really a really cool song with him um just before just before stay came out actually um yeah he's he's super talented and what's the sound like of the album so far in comparison to your EP because that's kind of the main sound that people know from you now you know yeah um the main sound of the album is it's heavily like 80s influence, like 80s soul and like disco and um, it's quite different to the EP. I think people are gonna be hopefully pleasantly surprised. Um, but yeah, it's definitely still heavily hip hop influence and soul influence, but recently I've been listening to like a ton of Motown as well. Mm -hmm. So I've been getting some influence from like the BVs and wherever else. So. And also, because you mentioned, you know, some hip -hop, hip hop influence there. So it's kind of, you know, interesting being a songwriter, you know, how does it influence you being a hip hop fan who's not making hip hop? It's definitely, like, I take a lot of influence from the rhythms mm -hmm. as opposed to the world. Like, you, you have to be more careful. I feel like as a singer, you kind of have to think a lot more about how you word things because you don't have as much space. Like rappers can be like da 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 Like as a singer, you can't really be like, no, like it's just gonna sound weird. Um, so yeah, you. I definitely take a lot of influence from like rhythms and um, even just like the way that they sample things. Like when I wrote um, Nice Side, which is on the EP, um, the kind of chorusy bit, thought you could have been the one for a minute. Like I, in my head when I wrote it, I was like, okay, just think of a kind of sample. And I was like, and then I just started going from there. So I guess I, I still can be influenced by yeah. it, even though I'm not spitting. 
It's like the flows and stuff are still coming in. And even the attitudes, you know, you seem confident. You don't seem... And a lot of yeah. that kind of, you know... I definitely uh, use it, like, on stage. Yeah. Like, if, it, like, anyone has seen, like, a YouTube video of me performing or actually seen me perform, I'm like this. I'm like... As if I'm spitting, everyone's like, yeah, it gone fingers. Like, <laughs> you literally look like you're rapping. I'm like, I can't help it. It's how I get out, like, because I'm, like, trying to... Yeah, the rhythms are important to me, I guess, from that, yeah. 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 Well, still, it'll be interesting. I mean, maybe we will still hear that verse. Even little eight bar. <laughs> I know, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Hopefully. And when is the album due? Is it going to be kind of early next year, or are you still working on it? For um, no, nah, it's going to... I'm, I'm going to take my time. Like, I'm saying next year, but if I have to go longer than next year, because I feel like it needs more work, or I haven't got the sound right, then I'm going to take my time with it and... Yeah, but hopefully, like, I'm, I'm almost certain it will be out end of 2014. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me on the Lily Mercer Show. Thanks. Here's yeah. Sasha Keeble. Thanks, thanks for watching. Yeah. What you want to do for love? It's all changed. Yeah, it's all changed. Not the 